Colgate Falls in Love by Blueberry Dash with four thumbs up, six thumbs down, zero comments, and 86 referrals. The tags for this story are romance, comedy. Colgate is acting strangely lately. She seems to fall in love with three different stallions. When Derby, when one of her crushes becomes ones of Colgate's as well, the ditzy-minded Pegasus is determined to find out who this crush is. She, although had knew that it could be one out of three, she had to prove it. The ponies that star in the story are Derpy Hooves, Time Turner, Colgate, Thunderhead, and that fucking hipster pony, what was his name? Trainer Hoof, that's it. What is that? With 1,323 words. Piece of shit load already, you fuck. Fucking garb piece of fucking shit. God damn it! Muffin! Omga! Is that strawberry muffin mixed with muffin flavored chocolate ice cream with a topping of blueberry sprinkles? Yummy! Uh -huh. Derpy hooves gobbled down the scrumptious muffin the cakes had made, specially for her, in Sugar Cube Corner. With a flick of her hoof, she wiped her mouth grudgingly. That was good! Hmm, I wonder what else muffins there could be? She looked around, her orange cross-eyed eyes dieting dart dart Orange? Fucking yellow! <laughs> cross eyes eyed darting in every direction, sparkling excitedly, like Rarity's sapphire covered dress. A gasp escaped from her throat. Is that a muffin cake? To be exact, a cake made out of muffins that are each different flu f fruit flavored? That sounds disgusting. Derpy was delighted. She can't stop the drooling running out of her mouth. Ignoring the price, she leapt and bit onto Colgate's horn. Hot. Hey! The dentist protested. Derpy, do be more careful. Your teeth could get all cracked. And honestly, what are you doing here? I'm here to protest all the sugar the cakes used. Wait, are you here to eat muffins? The look of horror came over the unicorn's face. What's wrong with that? Derpy freed herself from Colgate's hard, hard horn. Ugh. Colgate groaned and face hooped. Ugh. Honestly, I have told you don't eat muffins or any sweet stuff after brushing your teeth. Remember brushy, brushy, brushy? Seriously, muffins are so sweet, your teeth are gonna decay. Derpy looked at Colgate in confusion. Um, Colgate? She began. You're not Applejack, the element of honesty. Secondly, I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Are my teeth decaying? Where's the banana slugs? What? Fucking... Fuck. Ugh. You're so difficult to handle, exploded the unicorn. Oh, fine. Your teeth is gonna be all. um. real rotten. You can tell? Derby's eyes widened. You're all. you're too ditzy. With that, Colgate galloped away from the Pegasus mare who was shrugging. Derby tapped her hoof on the table thoughtfully. Well, maybe I should just order this muffin cake to take home and share with my family. Dr. Hooves, Dinky, and Sparkler. Okay, that's a good idea. And with a basket in her mouth, off Derpy trotted happily, excited to share the scrumptious muffin cake with her beloved family. It was the day. The day the Hooves go to the dentist's. And that none other is Colgate. Mom... I don't have a cavity, do I? Sparkler yelled. I wish you won't, murmured Derpy as she brushed her teeth once more. Our teeth have to be perfectly clean or else Colgate won't be pleased. Mommy! Dinky looked up at her mother. 
Why do you always care about teeth brushing when we go to Colgate's? You usually don't really... The filly traced her hoof on the ground nervously. I don't care so much about it. Shyly, she put on a curious face. That was a question she always wanted to ask. Because we have to be teeth clean. What? Derby pointed at her teeth. Okay. Dingy was rather confused by the answer. Oh, and Derpy, Dr. Hooves replied, what's that over in the basket, that odd lumpy picnic thing? He squinted at it rather carefully. Could it be? It's a muffin pizza. Derpy patted the dust off her husband's thigh. <sighs> Derpy patted the dust off her husband's thigh. Dingy's eyes sparkled. Really, Mommy? Can I eat it now? Please, 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 please. You obviously can't. Sparkler reminded her. Clean teeth. Dinky groaned. So off the family went to Colgate's dental clinic. Colgate gazed out the window rather wistfully. Eh, <laughs> she thought. The hooves are coming today. She sighed as she looked at her reflection. Hope they don't have too many crumbs in their teeth. Ding! The door opened. It was the hooves. We got our teeth clean real good, Colgate. Dinky shrieked. Very good, Colgate said absent-mindedly. She was busily staring at the teeth of Derpy. What? The Pegasus inquired. Cavity. I'm fixing that up. Don't you dare let my mom hurt, Dinky said ferociously. Silly, he won't, Dr. Hooves chuckled. She's a dentist. She's excellent at this sort of thing. Yeah, Dink. Sparkler laughed as she rubbed her hoof against the little unicorn soft little yellow, yellow mane. Okay, okay, but can I at least hold my mom's hoof? Dinky replied. Colgate nodded. She didn't like, she didn't at all like the hooves. They always have gotten something dirty in their teeth, which angered her very much. Like last year, she sighed as she stared down the dark hole in Derpy's tooth. What with Derpy's winces of pain and Dinky's screams of alarm, Colgate, after fifteen minutes, fixed the cavity. Wow, good as new, Derpy grinned at herself in the mirror. Now I can eat more muffins! Ugh, Colgate face-hoofed. Oh well, Sparkler, come. Inspecting every place in her mouth, Colgate grimaced when she saw a muffin crumb, stuck between some teeth deep inside. Sighing, the dentist levitated a brush and started working away at the muffin crumb. A few minutes later, it's finally gone. Thank you, thank you, Sparkler giggled. Here's a free gem, an emerald for your kindness. She trotted off happily to wait for the order. Get it together, dude. She trotted off happily to wait for the others. Colgate mumbled a few words of thanks. Gems are dangerous to your teeth. Why the fuck would you eat a gem? You never know when you've been into one. That would hurt. Why the fuck would you eat a rock? Th why? She looked reluctantly at Dinky's unusually clean mouth and pulled out a wobbly one, causing Dinky to be excited. Ooh, ooh, the tooth pony's coming tonight. Mommy, mommy, I'm so great. Dinky yelled in excitement. Derby laughed. Then they all became silent. It was Dr. Hooves' turn. Now, what teeth issue could he have? The whole family wondered it. So did Colgate. Colgate's tail twitched. Her eyes sparkled. Her hooves started scraping away on the ground. What is happening with her? Um, so what exactly is wrong with my teeth? Dr. Hooves raised an eyebrow. You seem nervous. So is my teeth all right, then? Your teeth are perfect. Your teeth is perfect, Colgate giggled. My, it really wonderful. I must say, you took much better... <coughs> you took much better care of your teeth than last time. Omga, um, this is so beautiful. I love... The old pony caught who Colgate loved. Could it be Dr. Hooves? A thought of horror went through Derpy's mind. Sparkler gasped. Dinky frowned. Dr. Hooves must be deaf because he's right in the fucking room. Uh, you don't know say. Dr. Hooves was taken aback. I do say. 
Colgate beamed. I just love... Whatever. No. No. What the heck is happening to you, Colgate? You're fine, but I'm already... Dr. Hooves tripped over a chair. But please, just one. Colgate smiled sweetly at the shocked time traveler. One what? Dr. Hooves asked, walking backwards. You cheeky cunt. One. I better not say it. He would be a... Surprise. Uh-oh. Every pony run! Dr. Hooves ushered his family to the door. This unicorn became a sudden lunatic. No offense, Princess Luna. What? No, oh, no, fuck you. Please don't, pleaded Colgate, a begging expression on her face. Just one? Derp. She didn't have time to finish her sentence. Derpy exploded. Ah!